Now is the time to change your view about Jupiter and its view. I was really fascinated to see a couple of interesting photos that James Webb Telescope have been producing, some mind-blowing, some questionable and some really intriguing. And you might be wondering how can this change our understanding of the planets that are around Earth, most especially looking at Jupiter. And yes, Hubble released a couple of images back in the days from Jupiter and we see a couple of beautiful characteristics of Jupiter looking at the red spot and many interesting characteristics concerning its moons and all the history behind Jupiter and how potentially this actually preserved Earth's life formation and this is really fantastic to actually dig really deep looking at various interesting articles and now moving into what James Webb Telescope had to offer using its wonderful interesting cameras and infrared view something that the Hubble Telescope can actually visualize it's really fantastic to see how you can take advantage of this particular tool and apply it to a planet that is around I'm kind of interested how is it going to look like when James Webb telescope actually has a visual of our particular earth planet how is it going to look like will it be a different color combination completely are we going to see things that we ordinarily can't see with our eyes this is really intriguing to actually think about now moving on to jupiter it's really fantastic to see how this web infrared or close to infrared cam composite image of james webb from three filters actually comes into play one is the f360 m in the red region which we see usually at the top and at the bottom of this particular image but also we have the f 212 n which is within the yellow and the green region which we notice right below the red color around the top and the bottom and as we get closer to the equator region we have the cyan color that's around the f 150 w2 and this aligned due to the planet's rotation and so this image is really wonderful to actually explore and it is really really remarkable according to some scientists this is actually a really remarkable detail on jupiter together with the rings and things satellite tiny satellites and even galaxies in one image and this is really going to be a game changer in terms of the chemistry of this particular jupiter as it interacts with its environment so when we dive really deep into this particular image we see a couple of things that we haven't actually seen technically before when it comes to a view from the Hubble telescope and now looking at it on the James Webb telescope here are the things to be aware of now it says that there are three specialized infrared filters that showcase details of the planet since infrared light is invisible to human eyes the light has been mapped onto the visible spectrum now the long wavelength really really appears red and the short wavelength really shows more blue so it means that as you go from top to the middle and as you move from the bottom to the middle you're going from a longer wavelength to a shorter wavelength which means you can also translate it to a lower frequency to higher frequency or you can also say a lower energy to higher energy so it's really fascinating to see how you can have that relationship applying your understanding of the electromagnetic spectrum and also the behavior of light to this particular image right here in terms of the visible spectrum now in addition it says here that auroras extend to high altitudes above both the north and south poles of jupiter and these auroras shine in a filter that is mapped to redder colors which also highlights light diffraction be diffracted from lower clouds and upper hazes the different filters mapped to yellow and green shows hazels swirling around the north and the south pole now the third filter actually mapped to blues showcases light that is refracted from the deeper main clouds and this is a wonderful description of how those colors actually determines the different cloud formations around this particular planet and it's really fantastic to actually see the diffraction patterns 
mainly focusing on how the effect of hazels affects this particular color that we see right over here now concerning the great red spot we actually noticed that on the Hubble telescope but in this particular telescope it's not actually red as it is it's actually white and it's known to be called a really huge storm that can actually swallow earth and it's like this actually shows how huge this particular the jupiter planet is relative to earth and at the same time causing the question how will Jupiter's gravity affect other things around it and we will talk about this in a future video so something to think about but also this actually calls into mind how these clouds that are actually in the form of storm actually re reflects a lot of sunlight and this is going to be looked at as you look really deep into the image of this particular planet in addition the brightness here indicates a high attitude so the great red spot has high attitude hazels as does the equatorial region as we see around a couple of interesting places on the equatorial region and how that is compared to the red spot now you might notice numerous bright white spots and sparkles and these are likely very high attitude clouds top of condensed convective storms by contrast dark ribbons north of the equatorial region have little cloud covered now moving on to the wider view of jupiter as it relates to its surroundings which where we talk about the chemistry behind jupiter and its environment we see a couple of interesting characteristics that is really fascinating on one image there is no labeling at all but nasa actually delve really deep into you know what let's try to label this and they release another image that actually has labels of different spots around the surroundings of jupiter alongside a couple of interesting flares that you notice around the north and the south aurora region and so what we see is that we have the level of the north and south aurora region we notice a couple of interesting rings that ordinarily you can't see using the Hubble's telescope and this shows how fantastic that yes our James Webb telescope actually see through particles in space and we can actually see details about a couple of interesting things that ordinarily we can't see using the visible spectrum so another one here to keep in mind is aurora's diffraction that we notice at this south aurora region alongside aurora diffraction that is a little bit more horizontal and this is pretty much coming from what we know is the sun as it moves and release a couple of interesting fire flares and these fire flares hit the atmosphere of this particular planet we actually see a couple of particles excitations due to this particular process and this excitation and relaxation will result in the color that we see that uh, we see currently in, on earth and this is displayed as well at the particular jupiter atmosphere so that is something to keep in mind another one here to keep in mind is diffraction sparks from io i don't know what that means but something to keep in mind concerning what that actually means so if anyone knows what io is please drop down to the comment section and let me know your thoughts but also we have a couple of interesting stars that are actually noticed we have one here that is uh, amathiel we have that as one of the moons of jupiter and also we have adriesti which is another moon that is also noticed at the background there are also little white spots that are around in the background of jupiter which are pretty much galaxies that are kind of far away from jupiter and this is actually photo bumped according to the description of nasa so it's really fantastic to see this particular composite images and how this composite images shows two filters one is a f 212 and orange region and we have the f 335 m cyan of jupiter system and this is not also shown in terms of the labeled but also shown as the unlabeled so i hope you found this video informative in terms of this particular new image not only focusing on jupiter but also looking at how jupiter interaction with the surroundings can come to question concerning how one we know that jupiter has huge speed when it comes to rotation and how this rotation can actually 
actually make an impact in terms of its relationship with other planetary objects and also questions about how it actually helped Earth to actually form life because if comments are coming in from out of space to our solar system, we know that Jupiter's speed is enough for it and gravity will help to prevent such amount of comments from attacking or from landing on Earth. And most importantly, this red spot, do you think that if we have another vision of this particular view of Jupiter and that vision which is not in the infrared or in the visible light spectrum will the color actually be different of course it will be i mean we call it red spot but now it will be called the white spot because hey there is um, infrared vision right here but also calls into question our view of earth from james webb telescope how do you think the image is going to look like go down to the comment section and let me know your thought about all this all the same i hope you found this really informative see you all on the next one stay smart as always and believe in yourselves